I think people out there who have not been abused don't understand why now. This year is 50 years since I was abused by Ted Nash. And what I like to say, and I, I don't want to compare these two because they're equally horrific, but there's a real difference between rape and sexual abuse, because rape is a clear violence that you see the attacker as someone bad. But sexual abuse is something insidious that an adult does to a child to slowly enter the child's world and make the child think that they are kind, loving, and have the child's best interest in mind. So that when the encroachment on the physical boundaries start happening, you there's a confusion set up. It's like a bullet that explodes in you into a million pieces. And you can't really figure out all the pieces. Often, it does take decades, as it did with me. I mean, I only use the word abuse on myself and on what happened to me with Ted Nash in, in my mid-40s, making a film about women. And it came out to me, oh, my God, I'm just like all those other women who had been abused. I've always used filmmaking to make sense of the world, whether it's a personal story or an outer story. But the tale was my grappling with the fact that I had told myself basically a fantasy story that I was the hero of my abuse. After making the tale, little did I know that I was about to discover a whole nother story which was about the damage the abuse had done to me, that a part of me had been left behind at 13. And that part of me was the damaged part of me that I had never even seen or accepted. And suddenly, I had to reckon with this cutoff part. And that part was burnt and damaged. But in doing that, I think also that part of me basically said, you have to do something. You have to stand up and name him. The reason is, you know, when Ted died, he was so feted and deified in the media. And I don't doubt that Ted did good in his sport. But the reality is this other story of the horror that he inflicted on me and possibly many, many others had never been told. And I think it's very important to bring this other story out to the world now and to show this other part of the man that people put on a pedestal and made into a god.